Okay, hi everybody. This is going to be the first video in a series of video tutorials on uh, the basics of the C++ programming language. Uh, in this video, we're just going to be setting up our compiler and getting the computer ready to uh, go through with the rest of the lessons. Um, this is actually a remake. I already made this video a couple months ago, but I didn't really like how it turned out. The screen capture wasn't very good quality, and I thought it was kind of vague too. So I figured I'd redo it. I also uh, recently reinstalled my operating system uh, which means that I need to reinstall my compiler anyway so I figure I might as well show it um, so yeah I'm on a Mac right now uh, by the way if you already have your compiler all set up and everything then you have no reason to watch this video we're not going to be talking about anything else so you can leave now um, but for those of you who are still here uh, I'm on a Mac right now so I'm gonna be showing the the process on a Mac but uh, later in the video, I do have access to a Windows installation, so I'll show you how to do it on Windows as well. So if you're on a Windows computer, don't fret. You can uh, still benefit and learn what it is you need to do. Uh, okay, so the basic procedure on a Mac, open up a web browser. I've got Safari right here. Head to developer.apple.com. Um, I don't know, they might change this page uh, as time goes on, but in fall of 2009, which is right now, this is how it looks. Um, so basically just look for some kind of development center or download center or something like that. Uh, right now I guess uh, the iPhone dev center is what we're looking for, so go there. You'll come to some page kind of like this. It might look different. You have to log in in order to download this stuff, and in order to log in you have to register and make a developer account. Uh, it's kind of a pain, but uh, it doesn't take too long, so go ahead and register, log in. I've already logged in, so... Uh, it's all good. You can either click this downloads link or just scroll down. Uh, and here we are. We want to download uh, the this iPhone SDK thing. Now, now don't be uh, misled. We're not um, we're not actually doing iPhone development in these tutorials. It's all about C++, not iPhone. But um, in the process of downloading Xcode, which is what we'd like to download. Um, we have to download the iPhone SDK. I mean, as far as I can tell, the only way to get Xcode is to download the iPhone SDK with Xcode. Uh, maybe there's another way to do it, but I don't really know. But this is how I've, this is how I figured it out. Um, so anyway, depending on whether you're on a Leopard or Snow Leopard installation, you'll download a different file. Uh, I'm on Leopard, so I'll click this one, and that'll start it downloading. So if we go to my downloads, uh, I already downloaded it but it should show up again since we're re-downloading it yeah here it is I don't know why this says it's 23.9 megabytes because this is a huge file it's 2.73 gigabytes so maybe I like halted the download or something but whatever it'll take a while to download it's a pretty big file um, but after not too long uh, it'll it'll be finished up I already have it downloaded right here so we don't have to sit here and wait for it to download again so I'll go ahead and stop that once you have it downloaded, it once it has downloaded, it'll probably open up automatically, so you won't need to do this. But in case it doesn't, you just double click the image, and it'll uh, open it up like this. No big deal. It'll show up iPhone SDK, something like this. Again, we're not doing any iPhone development here. It's all about C++. But anyway, it'll show up like this when you open up that window. There's a PDF and a folder, but all we really want to worry about is this installation. So I'll go ahead and open that up. It'll open in Installer, this application. Um, go ahead and hit Continue. Uh, this is the software license agreement. You can read uh, read it if you'd like. Uh, you need to agree to it in order to install the software. So uh, there you go. This is also, this is like an iPhone agreement, I think. SD, yeah, whatever. Go ahead and agree to that as well. Um, so now you need to decide what components you'd like to install. Um, while there's kind of the illusion of a lot of choice here, you really don't have that much choice because you're forced to install this developer tools essentials, which is the huge 5.6 gigabyte installation. So this takes up a whole lot of room, even though we don't really need all of it. But there's no way around it, at least as far as I can tell. What we're after is GCC. Uh, so if you see that, that's what we want. GCC, that's the compiler. Um, so that's what we're looking for. You're forced to install the iPhone SDK for some reason, but that's only like 25 megabytes, no big deal. You can do like backwards compatibility with iPhone. I don't know. If you're thinking about looking at iPhone development, it's not a bad idea to have the backwards compatibility. 
but for the purposes of these tutorials we're not going to worry about it so um, I don't really care you don't need the iPhone stuff for the purpose of these tutorials is what I'm trying to say this system tools thing uh, I couldn't actually really tell you whether that's necessary I don't think that's necessary but it's only a hundred megabytes probably not a bad idea to have around this Unix development uh, support that's a good thing too uh, it has command line development stuff I don't know you probably don't really need it for the tutorials but again it's not a horrible idea to have that support in there already so once you've decided what components you'd like to install go ahead and hit continue and uh, it'll say perform standard installation on some volume mine's called OS X or OS 10 yours might be called Macintosh HD or MacBook HD or something like that it doesn't really matter just go ahead and hit install you'll have to type your password because you have to be an administrator by the way my name's not really Frederick that's just my account name um, uh, what is it? Okay, there we go. Type in your password and hit OK. It'll start the installation. Now this takes a while, so uh, go get a cup of coffee, as they like to say. But um, after a while, it'll finish installing, and you'll be ready to move on with the with the first actual lesson, so you can move on to the next video. One quick note before we go over to the Windows installation: if you are in a Linux distribution, um, ch you probably already have GCC up and running, and you. Even if you don't, chances are, as a Linux user, you know how to install it. It's hard for me to generalize exactly how each Linux distro is going to do it as far as getting GCC set up, but you probably already have it. So, um, I don't know, just something to keep in mind if you're on a Linux installation. We like to be cross-platform with our lessons, so I figured I should mention everything, uh, but whatever. Okay, that's enough talking about this. I'm going to head over to the Windows installation, and I'll show you how to set up the compiler over there. So... See you guys on the flip side. Okay, hi everybody. Here we are in uh, Windows XP. Is what I have right here. Uh, we're gonna gonna go ahead and set up the compiler. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna set it up using code blocks. Yeah, set up. I hate Internet Explorer. I'm not gonna lie, but uh, we're gonna set it up using something called code blocks, which is an IDE, uh, which will kind of do most of the work for us. Um. But yeah, go ahead and go to Google. <laughs> well, I guess you don't really have to, but I don't have the address memorized. I guess codeblocks.org. Go there. Uh, so go ahead and click that link. Head for the downloads section. Uh, I believe we want the binary release. And I'm on uh, Windows XP, so... And get the one that has MinGW in the name. Don't just... Not this one. We want the one with MinGW because MinGW uh, includes the GCC compiler. The code blocks MinGW setup includes the GCC compiler, which is what we're after. So, uh, SourceForge or Barely OS, whatever you want. I'll just click SourceForge. Either way, it's just going to download some some file. I don't know. I hate Internet Explorer. Oh my god. <laughs> Um, why isn't this downloading? Oh, is there something happening? Alright, let's try the direct link. I never trust this stuff. Alright, let's go ahead and save it. I'll just put it on the desktop. Alright, this will take a little bit to download, but nowhere near as long as Xcode took. So, I guess we'll just wait. I haven't downloaded this already, but whatever. <laughs> 